Alright YouTube, welcome to another tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to uh, control Philips Hue from the command line, some of the basics. And uh, full disclosure, I will be using uh, this guide and just turning that into video. So full credit goes to uh, this website. I will leave it in the description. Check it out if you want a written guide. Otherwise, you can also just follow along the steps in this video. Alright, so the first uh, step in controlling Hue from your terminal is to head over to GitHub to this page. I'll leave it in the description. And just copying uh, this part right here. And then you're going to want to open um, CMD. So just run that as an administrator. Press yes. And then figure out where you want Hue COI to be installed. I want it installed right here. So what I'm going to do is um, copy the path. Now I'm going to install it to my D drive, so I'm going to have to make sure that uh, CMD knows that. And then I'm going to change the directory to my desired path by just copy pasting it into the CMD. If you're doing this on your C drive, you won't have to type D first. Just um, type in CD, change directory, and then uh, the path that you want to, you want Hue COI to be installed to. So just go ahead and do that, and then just type. I'll copy this once more. Just type git clone and then insert uh, the link. All right, so once uh, CMD has successfully cloned um, this repository, you should see a folder uh, called QCOI and just navigate to that folder. And then copy the path once more. Go back to your CMD window and just type in. Well, in my case, I have to type the drive letter first. And then just type in CD for change directory. And then insert your path. And then type in dot net restore. Okay, so if that worked, next step is to type in the following command, .net space build space dash c space release capitalized space dash r space win dash x64. So just type that in and press enter. Alright, so as you can see, my build succeeded. Uh, so the .NET framework has been successfully installed. Um, now we can start working with QCOI. Okay, so next step is to just step inside of this folder. Go to bin, release, netcore app, win-x64. Uh, so just follow this path and then copy this path which contains the hue coi executable file and then just run cmd as an administrator again and type in cd and the path and the best way to check whether or not hue coi works is to just type in hue coi and as you can see i have a list of available available commands which means that this installation so far has worked all right, so the next step is to simply type in hue CLI space scan dash hubs. Now this may work for some of you, um, but for some of you it won't. 
and there's multiple reasons why this could be. One of them is uh, if you have a VPN active, you might want to try closing out of that VPN and try running this command again. But there's uh, multiple reasons and there isn't really like one size fits all solution to solving this problem. Um, so in this case, if you get this error message, you're going to have to add your IP manually in order to manually determine the IP address of your Philips Hue hub. Simply head over to this site discovery.meethue.com and it should show you some um, information in the JSON format. Uh, so it looks something like this. And what you really want to focus on is the internal IP address. Obviously, it won't have three dots, it'll have a bunch of numbers, but this is all kind of sensitive information. So I can't really show you exactly what it looks like, but it'll look something like this. And what you're going to want to do is just make note of your internal IP address. Oftentimes you'll have multiple ones, so just make note of those uh, multiple internal IP addresses and just copy them to Notepad, for example. Next, you're going to want to type in this command, hue coli space add dash hub space main hub space, and then you're going to want to enter your IP address, which you just determined. So just try out um, your IP address, or if you've got multiple ones, try out multiple ones, and I'll see you in a second. All right, so I just uh, successfully added the bridge. Um, obviously, if you scanned the hub using the command line and you found an IP address, just enter that. In my case, I had to try three different ones from discovery.mehue.com and the third one worked. So just try a couple and once you see this message, you've got the right IP address. And once it says, pr please press the link on your Hue bridge, uh, you know that you've um, successfully added it. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Press this button right here. And as you can see, it worked. Okay, so once you've added your hub, you can type in hue CLI space get dash lighting space main hub. And then you see um, the lights which could be found. All right, so as you can see, I've got my lights up here and I can just enter the command hue coi space turn dash off space main hub space one. If I go ahead and do that, it'll actually turn off one of the lights. And I can do the same for the second light. And I can also turn them back on by just replacing off with on. So that's just one example. Now another thing I can do is just set the brightness anywhere between 0 and 254. So if I set it to 50, it's going to be fairly dim. Do the same for the second one. And I can set it back to 254 for full brightness. All right, so as you can see right here, um, I have a basic script, which just goes to show how powerful uh, this tool can be for home automation. Uh, amongst other things, this script uh, changes uh, my default monitor from my uh, desktop mon uh, monitor to my TV. It also um, changes the default sound to the device to my TV um, speaker. And I can also simply um, set the brightness uh, to 20, which dims the quite light by quite a lot, which easily allows me to just at the press of a button, do all these things at once and just go to bed and watch TV or play some video games. Um, and right here, I have an auto hockey uh, script, which basically just runs this uh, batch file by just pressing down control art, alt and R. And just to show you how this works, so I'm going to press Control, Alt, and R. And as you can see, that definitely dimmed the lights. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Huge shout out again to Bart Simmons um, for leaving the guide on his website. 
and also creating an awesome uh, and free open source tool. Um, I really hope you liked the video. Uh, if you did, please consider leaving a like and also consider subscribing in case you're interested in seeing more videos like this in the future. And uh, also leave any comments in case you've had any technical difficulties um, and I'll do my best to help you. Anyways, that's it and thanks for tuning in to Tutorials You Needed.